special guest. Special guest appearance by the one and only. <laughs> He's so sweet. Wharf baby. Oh, by the way, guys, 10K is coming up real quick. And we got a bunch of giveaways that we're gonna do. We got some awesome sponsors of ours that are stepping up to prizes for the 10K giveaway. So we just wanted to let you guys know, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. We're gonna do like an official video on it, but you know, 10K subscribers, that's a big deal for us because we work really hard and uh, we have some awesome prizes to give away. What kind of prizes do we got, babe? Awesome prizes, <laughs> but definitely guys. What kind of prizes do we got? The best. What do we got for him, Johnny? Maybe some pots. But we are fast approaching 10K, so make sure, guys, hit that like, 10K. bell, and subscribe. Help out, watch this whole video. We got a lot of questions for you guys, so let's get it. We have questions. You guys have the answers. We already know. I have questions, and um, I I'm just gonna kind of throw in what I've been doing with some, some things with my plants, and I kind of want to know what you guys are doing. Um, just want to broaden my horizons. We talking oh. seedlings in germination. Yes. If you're curious, that's what this video will be about. <laughs> Seedling questions. We'll tell you guys our methods and then tell us what you guys do. Cause maybe ours isn't the best. We kind of been sticking with kind of the same. Yeah. In, in my seedling stage, I've been doing the same thing and it's been kind of working for me. Yeah. But I just kind of want to broaden my horizons and see what other people are doing and what are working for them. Right. Um, I feel like our success rates are pretty good. I feel like most of our seeds pop, but. I have had some that haven't though. We know there's a million methods and you guys, we want the feedback. So yes. let's get this ball rolling. Yeah. So first one is how do you guys germinate? How do you guys germinate? I personally do, don't cringe, uh, the paper towel method. And I have been putting it in just a little container right? Um, until they seem ready for soil. Yeah. So and we've been sticking with that since the beginning, really like uh, just the paper towel method, get it wet, put a little water on top. We were doing plates on each other. Uh, we yep, we never really that. did the zip. Well, we did do Ziplocs, Ziplocs and hanging them. And tried the those, yes. tap roots did grow down. That was kind of the neat it one. It was a cool. But we don't I don't we don't do that every time. But so we just kind of rely back on the paper tower method, which we've had great success with. But there's definitely drawbacks. Like I notice sometimes the tap roots that they're growing vigorously yeah. will weave so into the yeah. um, paper towel, and then suddenly you're trying to like do some. <laughs> what Hopefully was that you game? Don't, you, what don't, was, you don't want to break the tap root. What's that game? When, remember when you're a kid and you go, Operation. Operation. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying not to like ruin this little baby. You're trying to. Oh, it's a real, it. it's a real game. <laughs> right. So yeah, we just kind of stuck with the paper towel method, but it, it's worked well. Yeah. So, I mean, how do you guys do? Like, what's your go-to method? And is it really successful? Just really easy? I see some people just put them in water and just wait for the mm -hmm. tap root to pop yep. out and then put it in. Maybe that's the I've easiest. Never try. We've never tried that. Remember when you tried the peat pucks? Peat pucks that worked for me. So peat pucks had zero percent success rate. Well, I, let's tell you guys that. So I don't know what we did wrong there, but <laughs> I let must us. Have been wrong. Yeah, when you, when you guys start them out, your germination process, like just let us know in the comments. Everybody get great feedback. Super knowledgeable community. We're learning so much. Yeah. People on the Discord oh, dropping knowledge for days. Yeah, so for real. Let us know in the comments how you how you do that. Uh, well, and then also next is how how often do do you water your seedlings? Yeah, that's a good one. So I struggle. when when they first come up, would you water them? Um, I when I first put my seeds in the dirt, um, I take the paper towel that I have been germinating them in, and then I kind of squeeze it. Do on the top, squeezer just so I, I know that I'm not over watering did it one of the growth series um but then i kind of just i check on them at least once a day and i just kind of give them a little squirt yeah uh, if it's looking dry yeah I, yeah for me with the paper towel i think it works really well for at least the first week yeah i feel like usually what i'm doing is i'm kind of like i have like a water i'll get a water bottle because i know it's just like pure distilled and i'll just like Give give it a little, and that works for you. You know, too, yeah. If it's if you're waiting for it to actually pop up and see if it's out, I'll just go kind of in a circle around where I know it is planted because I don't want to. Depending on the soil, sometimes it's looser. You pour right on it, can dislodge it or move the seed. So I usually try and go around it, and then once it's up and it has some kind of root action going on to keep it there, 
you know, sometimes I'll use the mister top and just mist real heavy. I like the mister top. That is yeah. nice, you know. The, the pump thing is nice, but then it's like, as soon as it starts to need more, it's like mister's way too slow and you rip the end piece yeah. off. Like, I feel like just, I don't know, less is more with it. Like you don't want to overdo it, obviously. You don't need to like wet the whole pot. You only need a real well, small amount. I think amount. just for us, because we use soil, I think it completely depends on your Probably mix. Probably your medium. Yeah, if you have a more airy mix, it's gonna dry out faster, heavier in the soil, it's gonna stay moist longer. So you just kind of look at it and kind of gauge. Obviously you don't want it too dry, but once your seedling's up, you know, sometimes I will leave a cup on top of it for a couple days. It's just kind of humidity and keeps it mm -hmm. humid and, you know, but we've done it plenty of times where we just let it go. Yeah, and that's another thing I was gonna ask. Do you guys have any special things that you guys do for your seedlings versus like a yeah. veg stage? Um, like personally, I like to put a little dome on top of my seedlings to kind of keep- The dome. Yeah, to keep that moisture so that I'm yeah. not, I know I'm not over watering it. Yeah. But I'm watering, I find at least once a day, maybe, maybe every other day, but I, again, I'm only doing little drips. I have lost seedlings, but for the most part, I, I have a pretty good success rate. Those are just that. the bad seeds. <laughs> but I do a special thing as far as like the dome. Yeah. Um, and I've heard of heating pads. I mean, really, I feel like when it's seedling stage, just not very, just a little bit of water at your discretion. You don't want to flood it out, you know, and just a little bit every day. You, just yeah. don't, want, you don't want it drying out basically, because if it dries out, it's going to die real fast as, as a seedling stage versus you're in later veg, you know, typically with the autos and the soil kind of mix we're using, I feel like we just kind of every other day kind of situation. Yeah. I, and I usually just go by the feel. And if it still feels heavy, like two days, I'll wait another day, you know, so it's not. Veg, veg stage uh, versus seedling, I'll go, ever, uh, sometimes I'll go a couple of days. Yeah. And depending it's, on it's how much good. You don't want to overwater it, but you want to, you know. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. I feel like I water more in veg than I do in bloom though. Yeah. Sometimes depending on how late. Involved. Let us know like what's your kind of water scheduling yeah. through, through the seedling phase and when you start, you know, we always looking to improve and we know you guys have all the great ideas. Yeah. Also, um, wondering how many of you guys transplant your seedlings. I know a lot of you guys grow photos. Yeah. We personally grow autos. Um, how many of you guys transplant your seedlings into a bigger pot? Right. I personally do, I do the solo you cup. You catch some flack for the solo cup. I do. I see the appeal though. Like I'm kind of anti solo cup, but I'm also kind of pro solo cup. Cause one thing it's nice is like, if you don't have time to mix up your whole pot of soil, mm -hmm. but the beans ready, you can put it into a solo and start it and you know, see if it goes. But also in the same notion, mix up a whole pot, put the bean right in there and it never ends up yeah, really making nice. it. Well, then now you got this whole pot sitting here. Yeah, you can sometimes pop another bean and put it in, but it, it can be just kind of, a, you know, a thing. Yeah, so, and that's what I've actually ran into. So that's why I, I mean, that's another reason why I do like the transplant. I do them young enough though, where I don't think it really. What would it, you say around three weeks? Before then, I think around two. Really? Just between, as long as it's Between up. week two and three. Yeah, because I mean, you've been doing it since we started on the channel pretty much with the solo mm -hmm. cups and then into the final pot. I've pretty much done into the final pot with all of mine, um, minus the ones we did before Colorado. Um, uh, but other than that, I still just do into the final pot. Some people are like, oh, transplant, but you've been doing it this whole time and yeah. I haven't noticed any of that. Like they've always just taken off, like yeah. fine. Like you put it in there and they just keep beasting out. Yeah. Like we've. So I don't know, maybe maybe that's that. more of an auto flower myth, uh, but you know, we, we haven't personally seen that. You you do all the time and continue to. And they, I'm probably gonna continue to. And they do, they do well. And they, and they finish out in their same time. And uh -huh. yeah, so, and, the, and they turn out huge. So who knows, maybe that's a myth. So you guys autos, transplant, not final pot yeah. always. I wanna started. know what you guys are doing People with do yours. the peat pucks, the rock wool. Like, are people doing that with Tell autos? Tell me how and, you're successful with that, yeah, if you do. Yeah, we're curious, we're curious. Let us know on all these things we talked about in the comments below, guys. We know you have tons of info. We just wanted to share kind of what we're doing and then get some feedback and maybe improve our process. Yeah, so, I wanna know what works for you guys, so maybe. 
maybe I can work on my process. Right, too. we we figuring it out. But thanks guys, definitely all the channel members. Thank you guys for the support. You helped make this kind of content possible, keeping the channel going because we- You guys are awesome. Yeah, we love it. So thank you guys, all of the new subscribers, everything like that. We really appreciate it. You can follow us on Instagram for all the behind the scenes stuff. We got a lot of exciting things coming up, giveaways, all this stuff, so. Tons of things going on. Tons of stuff coming, guys. Stay Don't tuned. Forget. Don't forget to hit that like button. By the time you guys watch this, thanks for 10K.